Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a Lady Vash video. I actually have quite a number of these lined up for you guys. I don't know what happened. It's pretty clear that Lady Vash is a really strong hero. I just didn't really get her very often. Lady Vash is actually uh, restricted to when Naga are part of the minion pool, uh, which is a a little unfair, I would say, because you can fully utilize her hero power if Naga are not in the minion pool at all. Her hero power doesn't generate Naga, it generates spellcraft cards, and the first one that you use through your hero power, or not, if Nagas are actually in the card pool, which right now they have to be, um, it, it keeps it. It keeps the effect forever. And that makes Lady Vash extremely powerful, and you get to utilize cards that have powerful effects to a level that is usually not possible with any other hero. And that makes Cleaves absolutely insane with Lady Vash. So, I had to share. What new world will we create this time? Stand against the dark. Welcome back. We have much to talk about. I, mean, I don't really like those that much. I guess this hero is a lot worse now that Grease Spot doesn't exist. Stand against the dark. As the black dragon flight. Pretty good. The love flows, and I flow with it. Guess I could do those. Yeah, I think they're all right, actually. I think they're all right. You must do everything in your power. Your destiny must be your own. Hmm. Thought that'd take a little better of beating. Guess not. That probably wasn't worth it. There are a few more options on four, at least. Your destiny must be your own. One of these fine recruits. Get ready. 
Should I go for the Iron Sensei? Passive scaling and whatnot? Yeah, maybe. The ability doesn't always give you current tier, no, you have to get a bit lucky. Ink freezing is not better. Yeah, fine. There are threats on all sides. Be careful. I like the Wind Fury thing the most. Try to give him some shields next turn. Where's Bob? Yeah, play this game in a year. Stand against the dark. Bob's got skins now. He's got better things to do, basically. Should be safe in leveling here. I trust your discretion out there. Actually wasn't too bad at the end. Crappy first hits though. Oh, that's really good. First shield. And that works. My new ingredient is for the mustard. I mean, it's on the mustard. It's there. I trust your discretion out there. Is Grease gone? Yep. Oh, the guy that multiplies stats. That guy's really good for this build, isn't he? I mean, probably a cave hydra is really good, too. Maybe I gotta go light fang it up or some shit, I don't know. I think the next opponent's fucked. Turn 10 is a real wild card, but that guy has been losing, so yeah, he's probably completely fucked. Is it a giant jar of mustard? No, guys, it's more of like a novelty thing, okay? We're not competing with Costco fucking barrel size mustard bottles, okay? I wish. I hope we're always on the same side. Oh. 
It still doesn't ship your country. Did you try the second thing? Another one. Kind of want to see how that might work. Choose your fighter. Um, those. Are shields more important? They probably are. They probably are. Yeah, I'm just not really getting any kind of buffs. It's just been super hard carry off the hero power. Forty-five dollars <laughs> custom. Yeah, like I saw some people post. The fact that, like, shipping is crazy expensive through the second site. I'm getting them to do what they can, guys. I... Their plan was to get it out through Amazon, which has, like, free shipping, Prime shit. We've been destiny. spoiled. But because it's a grocery product, can't really do that. That way I can't fucking find any. Like, just to be clear, I've been on Tavern 6 longer than anybody. And I've been looking for a lot of cards. Of different varieties. Mustard made out of horses, since it has horseradish in it. Yes. We take the cutest, fluffy baby horses and grind them up with scissors. And then we top it off with a small radish. That's why it's called horse radish. What awards did it win? So I believe the recipe from the mustard manufacturer is award winning. We uh, tweaked like the spice levels and stuff, but I think it still qualifies for that. I guess. I hope we're always on the same side. I guess. I don't know for sure. But yeah, I should have picked up one of those corrupted myrmidons. I think. I mean, I guess that worked out. The big cleaver seems to do the trick pretty nicely. That was a reckoning. My father would be envious. Could do that one now. For justice. Your uncle's a glue factory farmer. I'm putting him out of business. Wait, really? How do you farm the factory? 
Aren't you either working in a factory or a farm? This sounds made up. factory farms oh I see well like I got pretty obliterated yeah again I don't really know what to do Have the wind fury. I have a shield or I have a taunt. Taunt doesn't really work, everything already has taunt that I want. Guess we'll go with that. Guide me. You used my mustard to cook beef wellington, but the moment you put it on meat, it immediately dissolved into veggie paste. What gives? Burn away the, the mustard turns all your food into vegan. Yep. It's a buff, don't worry. Wait, am I actually gonna win this? It's I think it's perhaps possible. That's a tie, wow. Next time, leave nothing to chance. Choose your fighter. Should have maybe had that taunter. Choose your fighter. Hunter. Okay. We will go with the Wind Fury. I think we'll do something like that. Oh my god, there's a new review. Burn away the competition. <laughs> Holy shit, I think I'm gonna win. Oh, wait, what the fuck's that? Okay, we're fine. We're good. How in the world did this win, dude? Like, just for the record, I was looking for any form of stat scaling. Literally any form. I was gonna go, like, a turn 14 Light Fang, okay? I was obviously looking for the Tide Mistress and just play more Naga Heavy. Like, this entire board is scaled by the hero power. What's the name of this build? I, I don't know, dude. Uther Scaling, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Uther Build. <laughs> 